Yeah, um, only Wise, John Yannon, very close, close together. Only Wise had, a, had his own club, had a pub, everything. John Yannon was wrapped around him all the time. And uh, they went down to the Hippodrome, yeah? They'd been around the city, they just thought they'd go down the Hippodrome, have a look around, see how the club was running, all this, that, and they got in there, uh, having a drink. Uh, John's got in the toilet, had a bit of snozzle, uh, having a laugh, having a joke, but when John has a bit of a drink and, and a bit of something else, he gets a bit out of his pram and he can have a white fight, John Yannon. I don't think there's many people that can beat John Yannon, yeah? And he's dancing, short, stocky guy, looks the part. Um, people started complaining to, to, to the security, security come in to John, got a bit heavy on John. And bang, John, bang, bang, and done a few bangs and uh, knocked two security out. Uh, all of a sudden the lights flashed, uh, Lenny McLean went in, uh, I think it was in a grey suit he had on or something like that. He rushed in, I was a John Yan, and as John Yan was sitting, he went boom! John Yan hit him on the chin, but not properly, on the side. Uh, Lenny's gone down and he, he's on the floor, and now John Yan is fighting with the other, other couple of bouncers and then he's jumped up uh, and only Wise is involved. I mean, only Wise uh, got White involved in it. You know, that's all of a sudden, Lenny McLean's jumped up, hit uh, John Yannon on the back of the neck. John's gone down. Uh, only Wise is white, having a white fight with all of them. Only Wise also got a clump, but he didn't go down. John, they drag, uh, dra dragging John out. Uh, Lenny McLean's fighting with only Wise. Uh, got hold of Ernie, Ernie's giving him a bit of grief, but obviously so, uh, Lenny McLean's overpowered him, you know, overpowered him, and they, they dragged him out, but they, uh, Johnny Ann, they dragged him around by the neck and everything, and giving him grief, chucked him out, and uh, they're trying to get back in, going like lunatics, you know. Uh, about not so long after that, uh, Lenny gets done for a murder on a guy who's called Humphreys, uh, same about 92, late 92s, uh, then he gets put away, he, he, he has a bit of trouble in, in the club with this guy, the guy's a little bit backward, uh, the guy winds up dying, the police are called and the guy gets dragged out or something like that and, and, and they strangle the guy, yeah, they kill him. Uh, so Lenny McLean gets charged with murder, goes to Brixton prison, but while she's in Brixton, in a hospital in, in Brixton, I'm also there, I'm, 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 I'm there on, on another charge, uh, they couldn't put us in the wing, so put us in the hospital room for a bit of time. A couple of days after that, he goes to the main wing, yeah? So I'm there. I didn't even know nothing about this murder charge or Lenny McLean in there. I didn't know nothing, yeah? And all of a sudden, I come out to go and exercise, and there's Lenny sitting there on a chair. And I couldn't believe it, mate. I went, all right, Len. He looked at me, hello, Ray. And he looked, and I, mean, I couldn't believe uh, how he looked, so he looks in a bit of a bad way, mate. He didn't really say too much. He looked rough, mate. His teeth were black. I couldn't believe it. And I thought, wow, what's going on with this case, man? He just looks in a right bad way, you know what I mean? And then I was told that he was up for a murder charge, so that's enough to knock, you, knock your pipe out. And on the door as well, you think, well, wow, hold up, mate, you know what I mean? And he wasn't going to court. But in the meantime, uh, John Yannon, um, only Wise and some other people have got together uh, to go down to to uh, uh, Ibrahim and have a fight. And they want to get hold of Lenny McLean. They're going to go in there and bash it all up, smash the gap up, yeah? Uh, just John Yann and that little firm from where I come from, mate, West London, they've grown not in there, they're a bit handful, yeah? They'd have gone down and smashed it to pieces. If Lenny had been there, they'd been, it'd been off, mate, bad, yeah? But he's gone in there. I mean, it must have been, there must be a record of it. He smashed... They smashed the episode to pieces, done about four bounces in there, bashed them right up, really, really bad. I got out of there, um, and then uh, Lenny McLean goes to the old Bailey, he's charged with a big murder charge. Um, they offer, offer him a, an attempted murder charge. Uh, I think he, he refuses it on gets his pound guilty. That's what he, he, he puts his hands up to that, but get, gets found guilty, guilty of GBH of intent, right? But the GBH intent section 18 is just as bad really as, as, as that, as a uh, attempted murder charge. Section 18 is a bad, bad charge. But uh, because they've proven, they've proved that the, 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 the police have caused the death, you know, 
There's no nothing to say that Lenny did do it. And uh, the judge found him guilty of that, or the jury found him guilty, and the judge sentenced him to 18 months. Well, Lenny's nearly done 12 months in prison, yeah? Out of 18 months, you do 12. So Lenny had about a couple of weeks, and he was gone. How about that? That's fantastic for Lenny McLean, that, you know what I mean? Because I think he's a bit out of all the wrong door, and something that happens, and, you know, anyway. Uh, Lenny come out. Oh, he never won the doors after that, mate. I don't think it was on Lenny doors. And then Guy Ritchie uh, got with Lenny and uh, asked him if he'd like to um, do a film. Well, come on, mate. Anybody's going to do that, and he? he went, yeah. And it was that Lock, Stock, Two Smoky Bells. Was it Lock, Stock, Two Smoky Bells? And yeah, he's, he, he was on that for a bit of time. And uh, and then he, 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 he got diagnosed with cancer. Um, I think, personally myself, I think the steroids caused the cancer, uh, you know, because um, Lenny was never that big. When I met Lenny years ago, he was about, what, 16 or 17 stone, and he blew up to about 20 odd stone, 23, 30 stone, something like massive, yeah? In a matter of short time, he was taking lots of gear. Uh, you know, I fancy that had something to do with it. And, uh, and then he got cancer of the brain uh, as well. And a couple of months after that, mate, he, he died. So he didn't do the end of the film, the Guy Ritchie film. But uh, Lenny McLean, it will always be a legend. Always be a legend, mate, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, people will always talk about Lenny McLean, uh, you know. And But I'm just talking about um, John Yannon. Uh, when they when John Yannon done about three bounces in there, and then Lenny McLean tried to do him, and John Yannon hit him on the chin, but then they got hold of John Yannon, uh, loads of them, and uh, so Ernie Wise, John Yannon was fought, fought, uh, still fighting them, but they get, they, they, there's no way they could win the fight, you know what I mean? But they come back later on, and Lenny wasn't there. Anyway, bang, bang, round, nice one.